this video I will explain how to create the TMG or how to create the table mounted generator and how to uh, create a table mounted generator event. Before creating a table mounted generator we should know about uh, uh, three things. The first one is uh, what is the purpose and the second one is uh, what is the authorization group and third one is uh, function group. Okay. So first of all uh, this is very 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 important interview process when you are uh, when you are going, uh, when you are entering any interview panel or something. Okay. So interview uh, they are asking like so what is the TMG? So what is the use of TMG? That means what is the purpose of it? They are asking like this. So purpose in the sense suppose uh, let's let's take our landscape. Okay. So first thing first one is a, a developing quality and production. So let's consider one real time scenario. So my custom table it is in a production system. Okay. It is in a production system. So in production system we cannot give a permission to a permission to the user to uh, open open a transaction code like SC11 or SC16. Okay. To maintain that uh, custom table. Okay. So at the time we will create a one TMG for a tab, uh, for a database table for our, our custom table. So in this table maintenance generator, we will create a one a custom transaction code for a, a table maintenance generator. So by using this custom T code, by using this custom T code, he can maintain, he can maintain or you can maintain that uh, database table or custom table so this is the purpose of purpose of a uh, table maintenance generator another one is when you are entering in uh, when you are create when you are create any uh, custom table okay so here we can create only one entry uh, one entry at a time so if you want to enter multiple records at a time to the database table at the time we will create one table maintenance generator by using this table maintenance generator we can enter multiple records at a time so this is the uh, main purpose of a table maintenance generator okay then next co next one is authorization group so authorization group in the sense it will give some permissions so if you want to maintain only particular group of people so if we want to give this these kind of permissions authorization authorization group will be used okay then next question is uh, what is the function group so function group is a container actually so in inside the function group some function module will be available okay so we are using this function group while creating a tmg in the sense so when you are creating any tmg or table maintenance generator system internally some function module will be generated so to to store these function modules we will use that function group so that is uh, that is the main purpose of uh, giving a function group while creating a tmg okay now i will show you how to create a, a tmg or under tmg events okay first of all i will go to sc11 transaction code so here this is my custom table i already created in before classes okay so i use this custom table only for to create a table method generator Just click on change so first of first of all i will show you how to insert a data into the table okay create one entry here already on this we wrote city delhi One number exactly okay. So uh, this is what I am telling before. Okay, here we can enter only one record. So we are uh, unable to enter multiple records at a time. So if I want to enter a uh, four record or ten records, so we cannot go one by one, right? So uh, to avoid this problem, so we will create a one TMG. Okay click on back uh, 
we will go to to create a TMG, we will go to utilities table maintenance generator. So it will uh, it will uh, give this screen. Provide authorization group. So I haven't created an authorization group. So simply I am giving the standard one only. So a function group uh, to create a function group, we will uh, uh, we will go to S18 transaction. So there we can create. Okay. So I already created one function group. This is my function group. I am using this one. So here I want to give uh, more information about these two uh, boxes actually. Okay, a maintenance screens and uh, dialog data, transport details. First one is one step. So one when when you are selecting this one step option, one step uh, radio button, only overview screen will be created. Okay, here we can create the record, we can edit the record, we can delete the record. So by using this overview screen only. When you are selecting two, uh, two step, two screen will be created. It means overview screen will be created and single screen also created. Then uh, next one, so uh, dialog data, transport detail. So first one is defaultly it will it will select this one only. So no our user record routine. When you are selecting standard record routine, so if we want to if we want to uh, transport your data from one system to another system. So at the time we will select this standard record routine radio button. Okay. So when you are selecting uh, this uh, no or user record routine. So if don't want to transport our data from one system to another system at the time we will select this radio button. So this is the main purpose of these two radio buttons okay now i will select one step i will uh, select as it is only then click on and screen number okay then i will click on so here i am uh, saving this inside local object only so here we can see Updating will uh, see. Uh, so it will take some time to create. Okay. Here is some uh, one message. It means a table Z E M P table is extendable without a limits. It in the sense it will created one T uh, one crea created one TMG. Okay. Then click on back button. Click on save. Okay. Now want to enter some data into my table. Okay. Now I will go to table contents. Click on create entries. Okay. See here we can enter multiple records at a time. So this is the uh, this is the table mentor generator screen. This is the overview screen only. Okay. Here only we can uh, enter the data sorry we can enter data or we can uh, delete the record we can edit the record so we can we can do this uh, by using this screen only okay uh, then now I will click on new entries okay three then I will give this is the name name column only so stress city Kerala phone number is click on four Pant Delhi phone number is this one here next one is Abdavan here it's a Delhi this phone number is something okay click on save See, data was saved okay see here this is uh, here we can enter multiple records at a time by using a table mentor generator okay so uh, this is uh, uh, this is the procedure how to create the uh, table mentor generator and uh, how to uh, enter entries by using a table mentor generator